All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to uh, hook up a, a 16 by 2 I2C screen and a, a DHT11 to an ESP8266. Um, as you can see here on my website, I went ahead and did up some things here. I'm using a 16 by 2 I2C uh, screen which only has the four wires versus using ones that have like 12 16 wires here then just a cheap old uh, DHT11 um, uh, temperature and uh, humidity sensor <clears throat> and then just a regular old generic uh, 8266 that I got off offline so the parts I'm using is 8266, the LCD screen, the DHT11, and some jumper wires. So as you can see here, this is the uh, wiring. So going from the sensor for the VCC going to the uh, ESP to the 3.3 volt on the ESP ground to ground data coming from the sensor to the rx on the esp coming down to the screen we're going vcc from the screen to five volts on the esp ground to ground sda from the screen to d2 then scl from the screen to d1 on the uh, esp 8266 so my scratch here for the arduino uh, IDE software is right here. I found this online, but I made a fair amount of changes to it uh, Luckily knock on wood. I didn't have to change this uh, a lot of times with the uh, 16 by 2 screens 3f is the uh, number so luckily that's uh, not an issue uh, Right here you'll be putting in your uh, SSID from your wireless router and your password from your router in here so just remove this put in your credentials and that's pretty much it you don't have to do nothing else on this so once you copy this into the uh, software <clears throat> I'm just using a generic uh, 8266 module I already have it plugged in your com port may be different more than likely I'm using this speed here in these settings here. I'm not an expert when it comes to this software. I don't mess with it that much. So I learn as I go. Uh, you will need a few uh, libraries and you will need the 8266 uh, uh, board setting. If you go under here and go to board manager, you'll need uh, that and for the uh, included libraries you're going to need <clears throat> we'll let that come up a while you're going to need the uh, the DHT library and the liquid crystal I2C library uh, and when I installed them and tried to upload this uh, sketch to the uh, ESP it wouldn't work so I had to look around and I figured out that I needed to download this unrelated type software and once I did that and did it again it worked fine so if you have a problem getting this to work <clears throat> after you install the DHT software and the liquid crystal I2C software you will need to install the following piece of software here I'll just copy it over to save some time typing it in <clears throat> but you will need to install the following piece here for the library so once this uh, finds this thing,
So right there, you will need to install this if you have problems trying to get this to work. I would get the error message saying about the ESP and whatever else. Uh, so once I installed this particular piece here, it worked fine. So, but don't worry about it if you don't need it, I guess. But you will need to install the uh, DHT. So if we do DHT, <clears throat> and scroll down here somewhere. Here we go. So I have this one here installed. And we need the liquid crystal display. So once it starts coming up here, Well, maybe if I actually click on it and start typing it in, it might help. I thought I was clicked on it, but I guess I wasn't. Alright, so right here is the one you'll need. So I have it installed. So... <clears throat> Once you have them libraries installed, you'll be ready to rock and roll. So we'll just verify this. And uh, you might get a message popping up about the, uh, I believe, I think it's about the uh, screen. But uh, I didn't have no issues with it or nothing, so I just left it go. But I'll pause this until this is done. All right, so now it's done verified, so we'll just upload it. And this here shouldn't take too long. But once this is done and uploaded, what you can do is pull up a browser of the, open up a browser and put in the IP address of the ESP slash API and uh, you'll be able to uh, see the temperature in Celsius and the humidity. And also on the, uh, it'll show it uh, on the display. Now it'll be a little bit different. I changed this to all capital letters. You can change it to whatever you feel like, but I uh, changed it to all capitals. It looks a little bit, I think, nicer on the uh, 16 by two. So, you may like it, you may not, but, uh, <clears throat> all right, so now it's resetting, and if we go to, this, I might have to reset it here. Oh, it ain't going to work, actually, because I don't have the, uh, I didn't put my password in and uh, my network and stuff. So, but once it resets, or you may have to reset it there, you should be good to go. And it should show the uh, temperature and everything. So, hopefully this helps out. I'll throw a link in the description to my website for the... Uh, the sketch and uh, the parts and the wiring diagram and all that. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.